amazing now for those people like Justine the other day that could not see the Keppel of Islands there's North Keppel Island we pan over to Great Keppel Island can you see that now if you can't see that get some glasses all right we continue panning around there's the boat harbor over there so that's if you want to go to Great Keppel that's where you catch the boat um, we'll be driving around there later there is another awesome beach and this little area is called Kiwi Bay. So, I might go to walk down to Kiwi Bay in a sec. So, that's it over there. How good is this place? Best view in Australia by far. So, White little bit of coastline behind me there. That's called Kui Bay. So that's where I have very fond memories as a 10 year old picking up shells and then having to decide which ones to keep. Awesome spot. Clearly, good spot for stand up paddle boarding. Just heaps of people out there today. And that. Kui Bay. Righto, so we'll come down to the Roslyn Bay Boat Harbour. This is where you catch all your um, boats over to the islands and you can charter a sailing boat, whatever. There's boats for sale in there if you want to buy one. They're a bit expensive so I might leave them there. Low flying seagulls. Not a fan of those. Um, yeah, water looks so good. So that's like double head there. Um, from memory, you can walk up there, but don't know if that's on my agenda. Anyway, we'll have a look around. So I found the lookout, and so I'm walking up there. Someone's getting married here. Everyone's dressed in white. So, so beautiful. Whatever. Anyway, I've observed in my last video, actually that no, wasn't in the video, it was in the bathroom mirror in a second ago. I'm pretty sunburnt. I probably should invest in some sunscreen or that's gonna hurt. Anyway, keep powering on. the top of the lookout yet. We're at Fan Rock. That's pretty cool. If you can see it in the shadows. Um, there's an even better view of North Keppel Island. Great Keppel Island. A great Keppel of Islands. That's never gonna get old, I'm sorry. Um, some other random island. That's looking down towards where we're headed next. So I can't tell you the name of that. And then I can't remember the name of that beach. Uh, how good is this weather? Ocean is as still as anything. It's obviously a bit warm. Um, now I've got more steps ahead of me. I'm gonna climb up there. Anyway, keep on keeping on. <sighs> Why is it every lookout has to have so many stairs? Whose idea was it to wear thongs? Next 
destination you are likely wondering where we are and what that strange eerie noise is in the background this town was voted Australia's friendliest town in 1999 and we are at Emu Park that thing behind me is the singing ship ship <laughs> So the singing ship is a monument to Captain Cook who named Keppel Bay and the breeze goes through those pipes and makes noise. Apparently it's singing. Um, emu Park, you can see an emu down there. It's not real, thank God. Um, there you have it. 1999's friendliest town in Australia, Emu Park. Turns out they knew I was coming. Country by the beach. One thing I can say about the local councils up here is they have done a lot to show off their coastline. Like nearly everywhere you go, there's awesome boardwalks next to the um, water so you can casually walk along lookouts are all done up awesome parking it's just unreal so thumbs up the local councils up here who are showing off their region now another awesome thing here at Emu Park is their war memorial so these are all the names of war, war dead all along the um, boardwalk. And I'll show you what else I've got down here. It's probably the best war memorial outside of Canberra in Australia. Like it's, it's pretty awesome. So here we are in like their war memorial pavilion thing. So it's got information about battles and people that were in them right here right here awesome awesome gets better gets better come out here We've got massive amphitheater down there gets lit up at night and what an awesome backdrop so good well done, Emu Park. More of these pesky emus. Bloody hell. So, a little bit of a breeze has picked up. And I was like, oh, it's a bit cold. A bit cold to go to the beach. And then I come down and put the toes in. Bathtub, mate. Bathtub. So warm. And how good is this? It is just unreal. I'm going to miss this place when I am gone. Mm. I don't know why, but the water tastes like chicken salt. Hope there's no cocks in here. I'm definitely not five meters. It's all on. A couple of people have decided to jump out of a plane and land here. So it's that time of the trip where we do. Muzz's food reviews. So I've been down to the roasted seagull or barbecued pelican or whatever the takeaway shop was called in the main street. And we have chips and scallop, grilled fish, which I think is red emperor, and a plain hamburger. So Let's give them a taste, see what they're like. Right, what one should we try first? Should we, we'll try a chip. 
They look a bit weird. Oh, chips are good. Chips are good. It's like they battered. Battered chip. Weird, but good. Alright. Next, we're going to try some fish. So, grilled Red Emperor with some aioli. I'm going to wash it down with a, um, a classy glass of Carlton Dry. Um, so, Welshy, this one's all on you because I'm not really a fish eater. But, a little bit cold actually. Don't know, is it meant to be hot? Nothing wrong with how it tastes though. Good. Okay. Let's have a chip. Next we'll try the scallop. So there's actually more than one. They look a bit interesting. Hmm. Pretty good actually. Very salty. But good potato flavour. Good. I like that. Okay, next we're trying the burger. Just drop my fork. Pick the fork out. All right. This is hard to eat the burger and hold the camera. That was just all salad and bun. Hmm. My burger's good. Not the best burger I've ever had, but it's still good. So. Seagulls or pelicans or whatever I'm eating. I rate you. Not bad.